Well, good morning again, and um, welcome back to the diary. And at last, I've made it down to the river. <laughs> um, I would normally plan on making the first visit to the river, looking for a chub or a fingers crossed barbel um, during the first week of the season. But I'm afraid this year life got in the way. Um, those of you that follow the channel will <laughs> know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, at last, back on the river, the Spate River down in Yorkshire, looking for a barbel, but be quite happy with a chub. Um, usual tactics, big cage feeder, stuff full of ground bait and pellets, um, sealed up with paste <laughs> and um, hook bait on one rod, the inevitable 14 mil halibut pellet um, and on the other one at the moment um, a lobworm now I'm already getting knocks on the lobworm so chances are my lobworm's not as big as it used to be um, I guess the small fish will be having a go at it but I thought I'd try a worm because um, the river's coming back off quite a big rise it was three days ago it was up three and a half meters um, and it's just settling back now although it is predicted to rise a little bit today but it won't be a lot um, and so I thought with all the rubbish and food <laughs> that was being washed down the river while it was flooded I would start with a lobworm on one uh, on one rod just to see if uh, if that works um, beautiful day it's like breeze sun's trying to get out um, hopefully It'll be a bit more overcast, um, which is what uh, what the forecast says. But uh, we'll see. This is a new swim. Never fished here before. I went to my favourite swim, which is about half a dozen pegs further up. Completely overgrown. I'd have spent most of the day hacking at the bushes to um, just to get in there. So um, I've come to a new swim. Never fished it before, as I say and um, who knows only time will tell needless to say i'll be straight back if anything at all exciting happens <laughs> well that's half an hour and um, the worm is no more. Uh, as I say, I was getting knocks and bumps, so the small fish have obviously helped themselves. Um, but I've had, as I said, it's a new swim, um, first time here, and so I've had half an hour to sit and stare at the water. And um, I've noticed there's a crease quite close in, and some, um, some slower water just under the bank here. So I think um, I'll put another worm on and just uh, drop it in the edge and just see what that does. <laughs> Well, that was a proper knock, but it didn't get me worm. Yeah, there's definitely something there. Nice perch. 
there's the um, there's the culprit <laughs> I think I could probably go on doing that all day feeding them my lobworms but I'm not going to do that Well, it's about it's a bit over two hours, and apart from the um, six ounce perch, um, nothing to report. I've got um, at the moment anyway. I've got both rods fishing the um, pellet hook bait, and I've just moved the left hand rod further down and in towards the um, overhanging trees, in the hope that. Um, might be something in there. The, um, I have to say it wasn't the best cast and it's ended up a bit too near the trees um, but I'm going to leave it there and just hope that if I'm lucky enough to get an offer I can keep it out of the out of the branches. It's a, bit, it's a little bit difficult casting here because Got a tree over my head, and um, so it's um, it's not ideal in that regard. It's a lovely, comfortable place to sit, I have to say. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Well, that's the um, morning gone, <laughs> and uh, not a touch. Well, I'm, um, while I'm sorting this out, for those of you that like the technical bit, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm using by way of a rig. Um, pretty simple, really. 14 mil halibut pellet, air rigged and get rid of all this rubbish a large cage feeder um, I use a quorum run ring and a quorum bolt rig bead which, um, I don't know, it's just a confidence thing really um, particularly if I'm not paying attention which is often the case and I always feel that uh, a little bit more confident with the bolt rig bead because uh, it does the job for me if you know what I mean. So as I say a bit over f five hours now and um, nothing other than a six ounce perch. I think the show for it. But we'll, uh, we'll keep plugging away. Like I said, it's not the easiest um, easiest swim to cast from because of the because of the tree. Still, it got where I wanted.
it's um, been slightly worrying that normally you get a partially melted pellet still on the hair but three or four times now when I bought the rods back the pellet's gone so I'm just wondering whether my hair stops need to be looked at assume that that's just the, um, the feeder settling. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That might be something, don't know. This is typical chub country this. <laughs> Go on, have it. Uh, last we're getting some excitement at least. <laughs> Well, it'll be disappointing if that doesn't um, translate into a proper bite. Well, that had barely been in there a minute before it started knocking away. And then there was a quiet spell and then something came back and it knocked a couple of times more. But it's um, it's been ten minutes now, nothing. So uh, what do I do? Reset, I think. That rig was still fishing for me. Probably did the wrong thing there. Something back at it. Yeah. It's left in a quandary now. I was sitting there wondering, there was obviously something at it. And then of course it goes quiet and stops. And you think, well, has the pellet, the hook bait gone? There's something back at it there now, for sure. As I said earlier, typical chub, I have to say. Go on, have it, man. And now I'm back where I started. Has the hook bait gone?
Okay, so I've reset both rods. The left hand rod is down the tree line here, which is where I was getting the knocks before. And I've added 30 grams of extra weight to the feeder on the right hand rod and it's holding now in, in the midstream so I'm going to give it an hour in the middle of the river just to see see if there's anything there. Um, we've got perhaps two hours left and uh, I'm having to say that uh, the doubts are starting to creep in. <laughs> Don't believe that. <laughs> oh dear. That was the uh, that was the midstream rod. Although having said that, I was getting knocks on it, and one of the knocks had lifted the um, lifted the feeder. And of course, the current moved it across, so it was no longer quite midstream, but. It was where there was a fish. <laughs> Sadly, the fish is still there. Well, that's it, I'm afraid. A blank. Came close, but um, unfortunately, close doesn't count. <laughs> so not the best start to my um, summer river fishing. Uh, apologies for not having a fish to show you today. Um, I have no excuses. Bad angling. Um, a new swim, which I really didn't learn a great deal about. Um, if you like, you, if you've watched it this far, you can tell me what I did wrong if you like in the comments below. <laughs> um, don't know what's next. Um, probably out for a social on Sunday with pal David. Um, we'll just have to see. But as I say, that's it for now. Thanks for watching this. If you've got, to, if you've watched it this far, I hope you enjoyed what you saw, even without a fish. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>